What do you think of when you hear the terms gaming laptop? Do you think of a thin, elegant device that could play your favorite games? Or do you think of a tank of a machine that's meant to go on your lap, but could also play your favorite games? Whenever I hear gaming laptops, I think of a really thick and heavy laptop. Buying a gaming laptop can be tricky because there's many things, many factors that could affect performance and the way people see it. So should you buy a gaming laptop? Let's think about it. Let me just clarify something as there will be some confusion. A gaming laptop is the same as a normal laptop. The only difference is that a gaming laptop may have an extra component or two that makes it more capable of playing games. It's like having a sports car and a good old Honda Civic. The sports car can take you where you want to go, but it can do it a little bit faster than the Honda Civic. Same thing with a computer. So there's many kinds of gaming laptops out there, and more and more companies have been paying attention to them, like Dell, HP, Asus, Acer, pretty much every company that makes laptops, except for Apple, probably. <coughs> Apple sucks. <clears throat> Let's get the obvious out of the way. Most of them are large, like I've been saying. They're heavy, not attractive to the average consumer, at least the ones we could somewhat afford. They're not very attractive. And no, I'm not body shaming for laptops, I'm just stating the facts. If you want a nice and slim gaming laptop with gaming performance, then you're probably gonna have to spend a little more money, probably a fortune. And they're expensive because it costs a lot of money to make a graphics card in a tiny package to make it fit inside a laptop. Graphics cards are already expensive for regular computers. And then finding out a way to cool them while they game, because they could get really hot, that's even more expensive, it just keeps on adding up, making the total price very, very expensive. I already touched on how expensive they're gonna be, but let's take a look at some just to see really what you're getting. Alrighty, let's take a look at some gaming laptops. Hey, this one looks pretty good. Actually, no it doesn't. It's very thin, very good. Well, I mean, it's decent looking. It has some pretty big bezels. But look at the price, $2,600. That's a no-no. If you're buying this with tax included, it's going to be like $2,880, $2,900 around there. Man, this is expensive. Let's take a look at this one. That's certified refurbished, but let's just take a look at it. $700. Two and a half stars out of five. So far, not a very good impression. Let's look at the processor. The graphics card has a 1050 Ti, Intel 8th Gen, Core i5, 8300H, okay. So I'm guessing the normal price on this one would have been somewhere around $800, $900. But since it's refurbished, they knocked it down a couple dollars. I wanna look at one thing here. 15.6 inches, okay. 1080p display this 4.8 pounds which is actually not that bad 4.8 pounds is i mean it's it's heavy for a laptop but for a gaming laptop it's actually pretty decent it's pretty good you can see it has vents on the back pretty big vents noticeable ones it needs space for the hot air to leave it is thick look at that but compared to some other ones this one's actually pretty good it's refurbished and you know looking at the reviews it's probably it's gonna be a risk if you're buying this one like this one i mean this is a really good gaming laptop but three thousand dollars all right let's take a look at this one six hundred nine dollars everything seems good good processor too anti-glare 1080p display 8 gigs of ram 1 terabyte hard drive so everything looks good here so far where is the graphics card it has a geforce gtx 1050 ti which i'm actually very surprised with Normally around this price range, you wouldn't even get a graphics card. You would get like an MX150 or whatever those are. But this laptop is surprisingly pretty good on paper. Now the performance is going to be a different page and I would have to test it. But so far, this is looking pretty good. I don't like the green accents, but that's personal preference. It is a little bit thick coming over here. It has three and a half stars, which is pretty good. I mean, not the best, but decent or good enough. This one weighs seven pounds. That is wow. Three pounds more than the other one. Seven pounds? For this? It looks light. It has a 15.6 inch display, but seven pounds. Could you even consider that a laptop anymore? But yeah, this is... This looks like a decent laptop on paper. Performance, I don't know, but it's really heavy. It doesn't look that heavy, but it's actually really heavy. If you're planning on taking this to school, good luck, because I take a three pound laptop with textbooks and my backpack is pretty heavy. So now a seven pound laptop with textbooks and notebooks and stuff, man, you're gonna be having some back problems later because this is really heavy. Let's take a look at one more. This one right here, $350. Very inexpensive for a gaming laptop. It has an i3-8130U. I believe those are quad-core now. Eighth gen processors are quad-core, so should be a little bit better for gaming. One terabyte hard drive has a DVD drive, 15.6 inch full HD display, six gigs of RAM. Does it have a graphics card? Because if it's using integrated graphics, then I don't know how you could call this a gaming laptop. Integrated graphics, even for the high-end processors, are just not good for gaming. This laptop is from Acer. I don't know if I mentioned that. Let's take a look at the weight on this one. I fear it's going to be somewhere around the same. 5.27 pounds. That's still pretty heavy for a laptop, but it's not as bad as the other one. 
but the performance, the gaming performance on this one, I don't know how it's going to be good at all. Generally, for a $350 price, a gaming laptop's not going to be very good. Even a gaming PC, a desktop, it's not going to be very good. So a trend we see with gaming laptops is that they're bulky and expensive. The more expensive ones are the thin, attractive ones that you actually want and could carry around. And many of the bulky ones that we can afford, or at least somewhat afford, don't even have the latest processors or graphics cards, and they're a little bit older, so they might not even be able to play the latest games at good settings. And many of them don't have good displays. And in my opinion, if you're going to be gaming on a laptop, it's better if you use an actual mouse, because the trackpad's not going to be very fun. I tried gaming with the trackpad, and it wasn't a very good experience. And if you're going to be gaming on a laptop, you're probably going to have to have it plugged in the whole time because gaming will really drain the battery. Sure, the laptops may be thick and could fit a huge battery. Either way, the battery is going to drain quick if you're playing games. Also, a huge negative for laptops is that you can't really upgrade them besides the RAM and the storage. So if you're buying one, the processor you get and the graphics card you get, if it even comes with a graphics card, that's what you're going to have forever because you can't upgrade it, you can't swap out parts and stuff. So if you're going to be buying a gaming laptop, you're going to, you have to make sure it's going to be able to play the games two years from now if you're not going to buy another one in two years or whatever and that could be tricky because the games now have really good graphics and some of them are really demanding so you're not going to be able to upgrade the core components the positive from this is that you can carry it around as a portable gaming station but i don't even know if you'll even want to carry these things around so in my opinion it's best to just buy like a 200 300 dollar chromebook and then get a regular pc a desktop one uh, for around four or five hundred dollars sure those may not be you know that much more capable of playing games but at least you could upgrade them over time you could upgrade the ram the storage everything you could upgrade on a laptop you could do it here plus a lot more so in conclusion if it was up to me i wouldn't buy a gaming laptop once again i would just simply go with the chromebook and then get a, a cheap desktop and upgrade it over time but that's my opinion you guys might have a different opinion or you might be in a different situation tell me in the comment section below what do you think and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching